Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video of Bursa Gaming. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create your first Minecraft world to how you can move around in your first Minecraft world all in this simple video. So without further ado, let's get into showing you how you can create your first Minecraft world and maneuver around the menus. Alright guys, so when you first jump into Minecraft, then you will be introduced with this main menu as you can see we've got marketplace over here that doesn't really matter for now we've got our settings that doesn't really matter for now then we've got our profile over here if you just jumped into minecraft you probably don't have an account but you don't need that for right now all you want to do is push play now once you're in play you can see all your worlds are right here and then here is your friends list you can add friends join rounds everything like that then here are the basic servers, Mineville, Lifeboat, Galaxy, Cubecraft, The Hive, all the good stuff like that. But to jump into Minecraft, you want to push create new right here. Then it'll bring up this menu here, are my world templates and stuff. But if you just want to create a normal Minecraft world, you want to push create new world. Then it'll bring you into this. You can add any name you want, like this, for example. Yeah, you can just add anything you want. It doesn't really matter. Oops. Uh, yeah, whatever. You can just add any name you want. Here's the difficulty right here. Here's the advanced stuff. All of this stuff doesn't even matter. You don't even have to add a name. Um, but yeah, so you just want to push create and jump into your first ever Minecraft world. Hey guys, what's up? It's Blossa Gaming from the future here, and I just wanted to point out that only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Like, come on guys, we can do better than that. So please smash that subscribe button and back to the video. Once you are into your Minecraft world, you will spawn in like this. As you can see, you're in first person. And let's just jump into the basics of how to move around. So now once you spawn into your Minecraft world, the most basic thing you probably want to know how to do is look around and move. So to look around, you just want to use your mouse and turn it as so to move around. If it's too low, then you can always exit out, go to the sensitivity, then keyboard and mouse. This way you're going to control everything. If it's too low, as I said, then you can go to camera sensitivity. You can turn it down and up. I personally use 15, but you guys can use higher or lower, of course. Um, now how to do what I'm doing right now, as you can see, getting my front view and switching between all different views you want to use f5 to do that so you'll be like this then if you push f5 once you'll see the back view of yourself if you push f5 again you'll see the front view and if you push f5 one more time then you will be back to normal now i'm going to show you how to move around so we are going to be using the wasnd layout uh, which you use for a lot of games on keyboard and mouse. So this is how I personally put my hands. You want to put your hands, your, I think, yeah, your middle finger above the A key, your pointer finger above the W key, and then your thumb hovering around space. So then I can press W to go forward, A to go sideways. I can use my pointer finger to do S to go backwards, and I also use my pointer finger to do D to go sideways like this, as you can see. Um, but of course, you can put your hand wherever you want. W is forward, A is to go to the side, D is to go to the other side, and S is to go backwards. Then if you want to press space, you will jump. And if you see, I can run up to a block using W, and then I can jump when I get close to it to go up it, as you can see right here. Run up to a block, and then I jump to go up it. Here, let's get that back view. Yeah, you run up to a block, jump to get up it. Then if you want to open your inventory, then you want to press E. Then it'll open up this. This is where you gather all your resources. For example, pick up a piece of dirt. Then I open up my inventory. It's going to be in here. It's going to be in my hotbar, too. I can move it around. Yeah, everywhere. Um... But yeah, now you might be wondering, how do you break and place blocks? Because I already know how to move around and jump up blocks. How do you break blocks? Well, the default for breaking blocks is using your left click on your mouse to break a block, and then right click on your mouse to place a block. 
and you will be aiming to wherever that little thing in the middle is. You can see that little crosshair. You can break it, and then I can place it somewhere else like that. Or if I want, I can just keep it in my inventory and run around. And Q is to throw the block like that. Um, now you might be wondering, how do you toggle between different things? Because if I want to get between different things like this, for example, I have two things in my hotbar and I want to switch, then you use the middle scroll wheel on your mouse to switch like that. Then now that you know how to play place and break blocks, I'm going to teach you how to sprint, which is basically running, because walking is pretty slow, but sprinting is a lot faster, as you can see. So to sprint, the default is double tapping W, and then you will start sprinting. But I use the V key personally. Of course, you can customize it as well by going into settings. I use the V key because it's closer to where my thumb is, like this. Um, but yeah, you can customize everything. Uh, but now that you know how to move around, that's basically all I'm going to be talking about for today's video. If you guys want to know how to actually get into the game, I have a video on that. And I'll have a more advanced one coming out shortly. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Well, not almost at a thousand subscribers, but I believe we can make it before July. So, please smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.